introduce you to some, some of your favorites and we also have some brand new things we're sharing with you like what's in front of me today. This is a way for you to be able to cook six different ways with one kitchen appliance. A six in one reversible contact grill and griddle. So the plates are gonna reverse, but there's so many different ways you're gonna be able to use this. We have anniversary price this, $79.95. You can either do the red, that's in front of me, but we also have it in classic black as well. Five flex payments, but let's start cooking with this brand new grill. Now, yep. why a new grill? What what was- Well, we didn't, first of all, we didn't have a grill for a long time. I know. So I think, uh, a lot of people have asked me for, even I needed in my house, you know, mine got used up because I use my grill every morning to make the sandwiches for my boys in school because they didn't care about the school lunch. They said, Papa, only on Friday we eat school lunch when they have some pizza delivery. Pizza if day. not, <laughs> no. Always. So now I have to make them sandwiches. So look at that. Yeah. So you make the perfect panini really easy and simple. And what makes this different? I, I can tell you right now what I notice immediately. That yeah. floating hinge means that you can put it up on, on top rather exactly. than Exactly. However thick it is, out. so it's really simple to put it on top. You can see it doesn't squeeze everything together. Yeah. So, you know, you can put it in the front, in the back. So you have a blade here, which you can use to make a hash or to saute anything on here too. So you can, can open it flat here. Look at that. So now you have like a freestanding grill. So I if you know. want to put stuff on here, maybe put a little olive oil. It's, and each side has its own thermostat, its own thermometer. See here? So you put it at 400 and then we have the timer here. So how many you want? Okay. And then what we're gonna cook, Marianne? Some sausages and some hot dogs. Okay, some hot dogs. Good? All right, we good. We haven't done anything like that yet. Okay, all right. Yum. And bacon wrapped and stuffed with cheese? With cheese. How could I'm that a, be bad? All right. How can that be true? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> bacon wrapped around yeah. hot dogs with cheese. Okay. Put, yeah. put barbecue sauce. That looks amazing. But to, so I can open it up. Mm -hmm. I can no use it like a panini. <laughs> I can cook on both sides. Yeah, okay. you can cook on both sides. So here I have that. And then on the other side, let's say we're gonna make a little vegetable stew. So I'm gonna mm. put a little olive oil. So you're gonna go healthy over here to <laughs> yeah, balance that. Exactly. <laughs> to balance the bacon. I know. <laughs> okay, good. And it's got a nice little ridge there so the oil stays in, doesn't just fall off or anything. Yeah. So it has the ridge, so that's really very easy to use. And then underneath here, I have a little container, just like here in the back, mm -hmm. which if you have oil or something, which drips the hair, the oil in here. Okay, this is cooking here. Are the other ones that way? Okay, and again, me, I love, I'm, I'm looking. Okay, let me oh, look. Actually, I think only one okay. side is on. Ah, yeah. okay, See? Good. Okay, Completely good. independently controlled, which is so great. So so if I wanted to then, I could cook it just on the bottom and not on yeah, the top. Yeah, exactly. Just so if you top, can cook it, I separate it here, so that way you can cook on both sides. Put a little salt and pepper here. Okay. And how hot does this get? So what you can see you have the temperature controller right here. So it goes up to 450. Up to 400. But you don't forget degrees. to put the timer on. Without the timer, you know, if the timer is at zero, it stops it. Okay. So it comes with a timer. So yep. with the timer, it turns itself off automatically? When the timer is over, it turns itself off. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. I like the surface space too. Yeah, it's so like it's really lot. a good surface. So if you want to make for two or for four people, you can do it right on here. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the plates? Can I take the plates out if I want to wash yeah, them? Exactly. So Marianne, gonna show you. Maybe over here we have one. Marianne, you're gonna show Alice. Sure. And they can go right into the dishwasher, which makes it so easy. I love that it's onboard storage, so you're not going to find some other plate, Alice, to try to figure out where you put the the griddle plate or where you put the panini plate. So if you just pop, pop this button right here, it drops open, flip it over, and there's your um, little grill plate. So the bottom one is the same way, so you can choose griddle grill, grill griddle, that's why we call it a six in one. 
The bottom plate, the button for it is right here with that lift. But it's Wolfgang, so it's genius. He loves grilled food. While you're <coughs> here, give us a little tour then. Just, you know, walk us around it. Sure. So they're independent controls. So there's your timer and your temperature. And absolutely nothing will happen until you turn that timer on. If you're not sure, just turn it to the maximum. It will turn off when it expires. But each one, a click, it goes right all the way from warm to 450. So a steak or a burger like he's doing would be mm -hmm. 450. A pancake, probably about 350. So you're going to turn it down, but it doesn't even stop there. There's the really cool ratcheting system here. So see this button that says 180 right here? If you want to open it flat so that it's like a big griddle, you're going to just press the button, let it drop open, and Simple. then look at your look big at cooking space. Right. But where Wolfgang is doing the burgers, I know we need to hurry back over there. Where he's doing the burgers, let's say you made the burgers, but then you want cheeseburgers. Mm -hmm. Right here is a little lock with a slide. If you push this here, it's now going to float. So now you can turn it like into a broiler so it'll melt the cheese without sticking to the top. Right. So it's really genius and it's stunning. I love the look of this piece. Love the look of it, love the versatility of it, love the price at $79.95. I know, it's an amazing price. Now look at that here. <laughs> look at Our the sandwiches piece. are yeah. really done now, nice and crispy. And we, let's look how the bottom is. See, oh, perfectly because I put it on a grill plate, so mm -hmm. you have perfect sandwiches. Perfect sandwiches every single time. Yeah. You'll use it as a grill, you'll use it as a griddle, you can make everything I from know, pancakes for breakfast, to... lunch, or dinner, you mm -hmm. will use that all the time. But you know, there's so many different designs out there, but most of them never never get it right. They either don't have that floating hinge, that floating hinge makes all the difference. Look Otherwise, at that, here I have my burgers here. Out. And instead, Perfect. now I don't want to do the barbecue, so I add a little touch of barbecue sauce on top of them, a smoky barbecue sauce. Put it back on, and that's it. Here I have my bread, so that's it. So simple, so easy. Mm -hmm. And can I use metal utensils on this? I you know it's I stick. use metal utensils, any mm -hmm. kind of utensils. So it's dishwasher safe, so you only put the plates in the dishwasher, obviously. But now I'm going to show you also a thing which is really great. Now you look, we cook the hamburger, right. and it goes, all the fat goes in the drip tray here, it's on the like right underneath, yeah. Drip tray, you just pull that up, all look right. at now, that, beautiful. See that, the hamburgers are done, and look yeah. at that, it looks like in a picture. It sure does, and you know, meantime that, um, here you go. Yeah. All that fat and grease is dripping out as yeah. well, so you're not I'm eating I'm gonna that. show you what you don't want on your food. That's why it's good to grill them, just like that. on top of them yeah. and let it melt without touching. But I love the look of this. I think it's so great that we, you've got the, um, the drip tray. We can pull yeah. it out through the front and it meets for both plates. So even if you have it in the open position, mm -hmm. it's not going to come out. So see it right there on the side? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, so look now, off of four burgers, look, it's you know, crazy. From four burgers, look at that. That's, you don't want the burgers to sit in here. Oh, you got it. Look at that, that's all the fat. And there's still a lot of it right in here. If I let it come down here, mm -hmm. look at that. So cleanup is gonna be super easy Yeah, so you, you let it cool down, take them out, and then put it right into the dishwasher. Now how many times do you think, oh my God, I just love a burger or a grilled chicken sandwich, but yeah. no. wants to fire up the grill and go so outside? So you have all this fat here from a few hamburgers. So mm -hmm. if you put it in a skillet, it won't be good because it will sit in there sit. so you have all these extra calories. We'd love to chat with you. Please call us in um, 20 years with Wolfgang Puck. I know, it's amazing. 20 years already, 20 years. time has gone oh fast. I know. And furious, look at that, the cheese is melting in here with the bacon. Here are our sandwiches, we can't forget them. God, that looks as good. Look at, look at the crispiness, the grill yeah. marks you get on it, the perfect browning, and no mess either because it's yeah. all nonstick. Exactly. Now, if you want to cut them in yeah. bite size, if you have, our children love grilled cheese sandwiches. They're making whole restaurants now around grilled cheese. I know. Right, it's crazy. 
All right, put them together like that. And let's say put two here, cook them all. Easy enough. So now we're gonna put that down. With the hinges, it's totally flat. Really easy. So if you like, olive like me, I love olive oil. I raise a little olive oil on top. All right, and now, if you wanna cut them in bite-side pieces, we actually make some Reuben sandwiches at Spago as appetizers. So we serve them in small pieces like that for a cocktail party. So you get that, a little piece. Wow. We okay. put less meat in it, because if not, you have already a main course, but it's a good idea. You make a sandwich and cut it in small pieces and you have it as an order of so it's really good. Yeah, and this is really good. This is brand new, you've never seen it before. At $79.95, this is going to replace so many different things. But when you go to make your pancakes, you, you have to have the right temperature. When you go to grill that hamburger, you want to get that high heat. This goes from zero to 450 degrees two different ways to cook in terms of the grill plates, the griddle plates, which are reversible and most importantly, removable. So you can get them clean. I hate those other units and they don't take the plates yeah. out. You never get, you never feel like they're I really know, it's clean. hard to clean, it's hard mm -hmm. to clean. We wanna make it easy for everybody at home to clean it, do it easily. This is gonna be fun for a little party, wouldn't it? I they? know, so look at that. So you have a party at home. This is all made out of Oh, look at the cheese in here. Oh, yeah. All made from two sandwiches. Why is it So if you sit on your back porch now and have a beer or a cocktail or a glass of wine and you bring that over, look at that. A platter okay. full of sandwiches. A platter full of sandwiches and everything tastes better now when yeah. it's bite-sized, doesn't it? I love exactly, all the exactly. Stuff. I think people love to have little taste of a mm -hmm. lot of different things. That's so now right. you can make other ones, whatever you want. I want to taste those. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. <laughs> Whose idea were those? <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, we used to serve them in Austria, actually, in our restaurant, and we call it Perna, Perna Würsten, which is called uh, Swiss, like Pern is the capital of Switzerland. And, uh, you know, in Swiss, we know they have a lot of cheese, so that's why we call them like that. Wow. And in Austria, we have a lot of bacon, too, just like in America. So okay, you see the vegetables are done here. Cook everything all at so the same time. So we need a time. big platter and they're gonna put serve that on top like sausage and peppers. You know, it's a very traditional American thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. God, that smells amazing. Okay, now. You could be warming the buns though. You could be yeah. grilling the buns over there. You could do so many things with this, you know. And the capacity, because you have that double, the, the ability to open it wide open, which frankly I've never seen before. Yeah. So it makes it easy to do a lot of different things. So what we always want for you is have something which is very versatile. So you can do a lot of different things with it. And, okay, here, yeah. okay. And then we're gonna put our sausage on top and here it is. So you don't have to go and turn on your grill outside you just can have it inside it's too and serve hot it. to go outside, even in LA, right? I know, I know, I know. It's too hot or it's too cold <laughs> or it's too humid or it's too rainy. There's always some problems always grilling something. outside. Then there's a or you have too many flies, so whatever it is. And look, look at, at that. Yeah. I white. can wipe it off. Perfectly clean, but don't forget those things pop out yeah. right in the dishwasher. No worries at all. No worries. So now if you want to cook anything like fish, for example. They're so, they're so cute. I know. You put a little so fish cute. on here. Mm-hmm. Voila. Mm. So you can cook for the whole family, you know. Look at mm -hmm. that. You could put... Two five, more. Yeah, five mm -hmm. or six portions mm -hmm. of fish all in one, or you cook two. So it's, you really, really have everything. Let's go over to Marianne here before we leave. Okay. I love it in the open position because I've got it as a giant griddle for breakfast. So everything fits. The bacon, the sausage, the eggs, the huge stuffed French Look toast, and French pancakes toast. that we already did, right? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I know, so French toast, eggs, hamburgers, everything on one grill. All right, so that's really an easy way to do. 
Easy and I way love to your do it. Yeah. And, and it's to totally non-stick. You don't have to worry your eggs gonna stick or your meat or your fish gonna stick. So everything is non-stick 100%. And by the way, the tongs that you see her using, we have a two-piece tong set, $19.95 on an anniversary price. I think I hardly use anything besides a spoon and my tongs nowadays. Yeah. Uh -huh. Five flex payments on this, less than $4 to get this home. Now still to come. We have the blender. The blender. The best what. sous chef you will ever hire in your house is our blender. Absolutely. When we say high performance, that is an understatement. We are talking about 2.1 horsepower power with this. Incredible. 268253. When you see what this can do, yes, it can make soup. Yes, it can make your soup smoothies. Yes, it can do virtually anything. It is all metal in terms of the uh, the blades, not just the blades, but the some of the housing to it. So it really gives it this ability to to just do incredible things in terms of uh, power. Customer pick two six eight two five three. We have fifty dollars off just for the anniversary, and we have even reduced our shipping and handling as well. But five flex payments on absolutely everything. But. One thing that always it's goes awesome perfectly man. with your food and your little mini sandwiches. Well, which I have my so mini good. cheese sandwiches I here. Sure, they're so good. Uh -huh. Is your wine opener? You've kind of perfected the art of opening wine because you can really make a mess of it. You know, you can really make a mess of you it. You know, for the home person who is not used to and doesn't work in a restaurant, we have a train people. You get a bottle of wine, you try to open it, you get this corkscrew, mm -hmm. you don't screw it in straight. What will happen is you break the cork. Then you try to put it in again. What will happen? It will break even more. Then you have to strain the wine because pieces of cork fall in there. Now with our corkscrew here, electric with batteries. It's so simple. You okay. can see the stand here, right? but that's also the foil cutter here. So I know my wife loves it, Galila loves that because now she, when friends come over and I'm not at home like today, she wanna open a bottle of wine. Mm -hmm. It's so simple. So you cut off the top, see here? And okay. now, instead of having a complicated thing, trying to screw it straight in, you just push the button. All right. Push the other side. And the button and the cork comes right out. So now, if you wanna serve the wine, it makes it so easy. If you wanna recork the cork, just put it back in. Let me go through the colors because you get your choice of colors. We're doing an anniversary price on this of $19.95. Grab a couple of these for gifts. They are fabulous. This is gonna be your champagne right here. Copper right next to that. The gunmetal is absolutely so stylish with a stainless steel kitchen. The silver is the one that Chef has in his hand. We have the red right down here. If you want um, a pattern, this is the signature Wolfgang Puck logo pattern. And then we also have it in the rose gold. Any color, $19.95. Silver is the most limited. And we do have five flex payments on this as well. I know. It is, it is something now. you really need for your home. Well, because, you know, most of us get the either those ones like, oh, gosh, you know the ones I'm talking about. Yeah. It's just the corkscrew and that thing. And it's hard to get it out. Why would you why would you invest all that effort when you can just do this? This yeah, is so no, much no, you, easier. With two fingers. Uh-huh. So if it's an old wine bottle, a new wine bottle, you know the cork gonna get always straight mm -hmm. in there and you're gonna have a perfect cork coming back out. So that way you don't have to worry ever again about putting a bottle in between oh your legs Been and there. try to pull it out <laughs> because it's really difficult. So this makes it easy and then all you have to do is serve it. You know, the wine with red wine a little bit or the room temperature, white wine a little colder. Now, whenever you buy wine, always pour in a little bit for yourself. You make it move around a little bit against the clock and then Smell it to be sure that it's not corked. If it's corked, you will smell it like an old cork. It smells really bad. And then... Do you make and, that little noise? Mm, and then you <laughs> taste it 
I, some people are obnoxious with too much noise, you know. <laughs> it's a little kind of like, okay. Because they aerate it in their mouth. <laughs> I hear it oh. like that. Mm. And then you say, oh, very complex or very interesting one if you don't know it. If you're the guest of honor, they give it to you to taste. So all they do is pour you a little bit. Don't forget to go slow and <laughs> smell it. Through the entire process, yeah. right? I have, I have totally used your very interesting, very mm. complex. <laughs> Let's go to and the phone. Margaret calling from Florida. Hi, Margaret. How are you? Happy Hi. anniversary. Happy anniversary to you, Wolfgang. Thank I've been you. buying your stuff practically for almost a whole 20 years. Oh, now. my God. But I bought this because I never could get a corkscrew in, and yeah. now I have no problems, and I've bought at least three of them for gifts. Yeah. And everybody just loves them. Now, I know my wine decanter also is really at a good price. I think it's $26 or something. That is, yeah, that something is like that. You know, you know what is great, the wine decanter? You can, and I shouldn't tell it to everybody out there, but you can make a cheap wine look expensive. What you do is you put it in here, and people know in restaurants only the expensive wine gets decanted. So if you bring that to the table, now if it's an old wine, there's sediments, you bring that like that to the table, and it's so easy to pour Isn't with that. that. Look at that. And it looks, yes. it looks very rich already. Wow. So yes, it does. Um, just to let you know, what, what's the price on that decanter? It's $29.95. We have $20 oh, yeah. off that decanter. I yeah. love that. I've, I've even recommended this to a bartender one day when she couldn't get the cork open out of oh, yeah. thing when we were somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you she was going to look into it. Yeah, I know. You know what? It is so true. I have given it to so many people at home. Each time we see somebody, they say, oh, my God, now I don't have to worry anymore getting the cork out. Yep. How embarrassing when I have That's friends exactly over. That's exactly what our friends say. Yeah. That's exactly what our friends say. Uh -huh. but we absolutely love them, and I love all the stuff I've gotten from you, Wolfgang. Thank you very much for all the 20 years. Thank you, Margaret, and thanks for calling me. Thank you so much, so much, Margaret. Let me go through the colors one more time. You heard what Margaret said. Don't, don't make a, a mess out of the wine, for heaven's sakes. The point is just to get it open, all right, so you can get it out of the bottle. Make it simple. Champagne right here. This is your copper. That's going to be that beautiful silver right here, platinum silver. Here is your red. And then we also have it in that gunmetal right here. Um, this is your signature, which is the logo. The, of the WP on it, yeah. Yeah, I love that. And then you have the rose gold as well. 1995. I know. Look, don't don't take them the bottle of wine. They don't want the. I everybody know. brings me red. I only drink white. Okay. Yeah. Don't don't do that. Bring them this. Yeah, absolutely. I think this one will be there forever. It's battery powered. All you have to do is change the batteries after they are used out. And then it depends how many bottles you open, you know, every day. I don't know. I open maybe one every day, one every two days, maybe. Yeah, why not? But okay. that's it. But I think what it's so great that people are going to keep that on their counter where, or in their wine room or whatever they have, so that way they can use it all the time. And as I said, it st sits like mm -hmm. that, and the stand, as you can see, has the two plates in there to cut the foil off. So everything is done for you. All you have to do is enjoy your wine because to get the cork out with that is so simple and so easy. And you can match this back if you want to the spice mills because yeah. that's what I do. I just put them all out. And, and it really looks like it just belongs with the spice mills. And it just looks so beautiful and elegant on your counter. Which one is most limited, Dan, at this point? The silver right here is the most limited. So if you want that silver, look how pretty. It's yeah. gorgeous, gorgeous. Now look, even here. So if you don't drink the wine all today, you recork it, and then you just take it out again. Because this is so precise and goes right down the middle, mm -hmm. you never break the cork. It makes it so simple and so easy. And I tried it with my sommelier at the restaurant. Sommelier is the wine guy, you know. Uh, when he had an old wine bottle, an old cork in an old bottle of wine, tried to get it out. If you don't put it in right and take it out perfectly, it mm -hmm. breaks. So with this, it's so consistent that it always comes out just perfectly. You can pull it in, look at that. I put it out twice already. I can put it back in now if it's... Okay, put it in the refrigerator. Tomorrow I want more wine. What do I do? I put that on top again. 
So just save the cork so you have no problems after. No, wow. right I'm not sure I've ever seen a wine reopen like that. That's yes. pretty amazing. Three times already and the cork is still in perfect condition. So with that with that corkscrew here, and you know, a cheaper one, like a hand used one, might call, call, cost you $12, $15. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. I had one that, you know, the ones where you screwed in and the little arms the, this, come up. Yeah. The metal little th broke off. Yeah. No, no, no. In I think. The wine. And here you have <laughs> the, the, wine, the cutter like, here okay. to cut the foil off. So everything is done for you so you can enjoy the wine and you feel confident opening right. a good bottle of wine. If your friends come over or if for a special occasion, whatever it is. So you really should get one like that because I think for that price and how it will help you to open a bottle of wine. I tell you, whenever I open a bottle of wine, unless I give it to somebody because they were so impressed with it, often people come to the house, mm -hmm. we have dinner, I open a bottle of wine, they say, wow, this is amazing. And then I said, okay, take it home. And they think they get the greatest gift ever. You know, it's not that expensive, but I don't tell them. It looks expensive, yeah. though. You know, that's a really nice part. It looks expensive, but today it's 1995. I mean, this is the day you do it. Put it on five flex payments if you want to pick up a few gifts. Red is selling the fastest right now. Yeah. The silver is the most limited. I. I just love, I love the logo. Yeah, no, I think it's very it's chic, very beautiful. elegant, and you can keep it outside. It will look good, it will look beautiful. So you actually can look like a professional, open a bottle of wine. And you know, you don't wanna buy, if it's a $10 bottle of wine or a $50 bottle of wine, you don't wanna mess up the cork and get fishing for the cork inside and then get a fine strainer, strain it out. It's, so it's not good, so this will help you to open a bottle of wine in no time, easy, and always mm -hmm. a success of getting the cork out. All right, so again, the color choices are gonna be that uh, cop this is champagne, champagne, copper, silver, red, this is your gun metal back here, rose gold, this is the logo, signature yeah. logo, and uh, you've got them all right now, but will not be the case a little bit later today. 1995, five flex payments. Yeah. Now that decanter. Yeah, the decanter oh is gosh. amazing. I love Beautiful. it because when I have my wine, for example, this is not that expensive. I put it, I don't put the bottle on the table because people can maybe buy it in the supermarket. <laughs> and I say, oh, Wolfgang sells cheap wine today, but <laughs> it's still a very good wine. I drink it all the time. I always put it in the, in the decanter and then I serve it in the decanter. Gosh, and elegant. the way this one is built is so easy, so easy to hold. Look at that, see? Uh, it is a beautiful design. We have less than 200 of those remaining. The price is right at 29.95. Yeah, 29. You oh, don't get a decanter like that. Today. We have decanters which cost hundreds of dollars. Yeah, I believe yeah. it. And uh, by the way, we also have the wine chiller. This is what I mean. $24.95. How long does it take to chill a bottle of wine? Well, you keep the chiller in your freezer, yeah. and then you keep the wine in for an hour, and it chills it down really fast. All right, so we have that available as well, because if you're like me, I, I never think about it until right before everybody shows up at the front door and it's like, oh, I forgot yeah. to chill the wine. I know, I know, so it's really easy. So if you have a chiller, if you put cold water in it, the water gets cold with a little ice, then it goes even faster. You're gonna love this, okay? This, to me, one of the best in your collection, it's a tea kettle, but it's a tea kettle that has such unique features, that beautiful, gorgeous stainless steel look, and you're getting it today at an anniversary price, $29.95, Flex payments on it. Does it whistle though? Yeah, well, it whistles when you put the water up to temperature, you will hear it in a second. So what it's great, this tea kettle works on any kind of stovetop. If you have gas, electric, induction, whatever it is. Now, we have the uh, kettle on our stove all the time. Why? Because my wife, Galila, is Ethiopian and, you know, coffee really comes from Ethiopia. So she uses that for her Ethiopian coffee. Mm -hmm. You know, where they grind the coffee, she roasts the coffee, grind the coffee, and then puts water in it in a special uh, uh, ceramic thing. Mm -hmm. So, but you need hot water. Without hot water, forget it. Right. Yeah. And this is going to heat up fast because yes. of, of the design yeah. of this. Okay, yeah, here we you go. Can... Get ready. So it whistles when it's ready, so you don't forget about it. So now you we turn off the heat. Water is hot enough. So now if you want to make teas, infusion. Infusion is like if you use a, a, like a herb tea, you know, for example. So use 
thyme, oregano, verbena, whatever you like, and you just put it in there. If you like it strong or not so strong, here we have one more. Now, like I like a little ginger in my tea and a little lemon or lime in my tea. All right, now look at it. It says stay cool, but at home you always can take a towel or a melt, mitten, or how you say that? A mint, okay, a meat. Okay, good, so now look at that, how easy. Now, let's make one like the English make the tea. Okay. Or like I like it too, even I'm not English, my accent maybe might give me away. <laughs> a little bit. So, a little <laughs> English <Mate>. breakfast tea. <laughs> and let it just steep for a little bit. So I like it strong, but not overly strong. I know in England sometimes they drink it like so dark and mm -hmm. so strong. What I do, I take it out after a while, and then I put a little milk and a little sugar here, and that's it. So that's a traditional way in England, when you get your tea service, they always bring you milk and drink it like that. Wow, cool. Yeah. And you've got your kettle to, that you will leave out all the time because it is that pretty. So it, it opens here, got a little top on it, but I like this. You just did a really clever little design Yeah, so with it's that. so easy. And do we have some time or something like that somewhere, hello? A little bit of time. Time or something, hello? Do we have any time? Hello? Do we have, uh, Where's the thing time? for the infusion here? Little time. I don't see time. Sorry. All right. We can just go with cinnamon sticks. Okay, you can, we can make a cinnamon, okay. Love cinnamon stick too. Or here, I put a little mint in here oh, when nice. I serve it, so Gosh, you get so a good pretty. flavor of all the fresh herbs and everything. It's really delicious. So, at night, if you don't go to sleep, you drink an infusion with verbena with a little bit of thyme, put the fresh herbs in it, mm -hmm. they cut it off for you. I know Alan Ducasse restaurant, it's $500 a person. At the end, they come out with a tea kettle, they come out with a pot of fresh herbs, they cut them off, and then uh, uh, they put it in the hot water. 500 a person. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I didn't hear anything past Yeah, that. no, 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 no. But, but everything is done really special. Oh, so sure. that's really delicious. So you put a little bit of that in, even if you don't need really tea, maybe a slice of lemon before you go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Here you have the hot water. Oh, I bet that tastes so good. Yeah. Just it tastes so fresh, mm -hmm. like I like it with a little honey in it and it's really delicious. Wonderful, listen, you're gonna love having your tea kettle there. $29.95, but five flex payments while he's here celebrating his anniversary, which is just a couple of days, so mm. pick up yours. Smell if you it like already. It. I could smell it from yeah. here, the thyme, the fresh thyme. Yeah. You know, it's always about fresh, right? Well, our today's special, we're not doing a presentation in this hour, but we wanted to give you a little peek at what we have coming up this weekend from HP. 15 inch touch AMD. This is a full terabyte in terms of your storage. Laptop and the printer with your office bundle. Yeah, you get a printer with it. <laughs> My producer's like, Did you, do you get a printer with it? You get the printer with a touch screen laptop at $579.95, free shipping. And we're gonna do six flex payments on that as well. We have blue, we have gold, we have burgundy, and we have silver as well. By the way, um, you're also, if you would like to, if you would like to um, stick around, we are going to provide you with the most powerful blender that we offer, so come on back, we have it. Did you know you can stream both HSN and HSN2 live anytime, any place? With just the click of a button on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV, you're connected to the latest and greatest we have to offer. And with HSN2, there's always something different from what's currently airing on HSN. Head over to hsn.com or open your HSN mobile app and start watching. Our Happy Place cleaning products are made with plant-based ingredients. Which means less chemicals in your house, which will make it a happy place. People think, can it work well? And it does. We chose plant-based ingredients so you're not breathing in fumes. You're not putting as many chemicals where your kids and your pets are touching them. There's a lot of great benefits to cleaning with our Happy Place products. If we can get your home clean, that's what makes your home a happy place.
Welcome to Generation Wow. For over 75 years, HP has been the leader in innovation, pioneering technology through cutting edge products and forward thinking solutions. HP makes life better for everyone, everywhere. From laptops and desktops to monitors and printers, the visionaries at HP create experiences that amaze. Let their experts help you reinvent how you work, play, and live. HP and HSN, keep reinventing, only on HSN. Hi everybody, 20 years with the one and only Wolfgang Puck. And he has brought us the power that we need to truly make everything from soup to nut butter. Because that's what this commercially rated blender can do. Yeah. We are talking about not just RPMs, which by the way is 22,000 if you're counting. We're talking about 2.5 horsepower when this thing gets up to speed. 129.95, five flex payments. This is a lot of power. I know, this is a lot of power. And the similar one called Vitamix is sold everywhere for $400, and it doesn't have more horsepower, mm -hmm. and it's not any bigger than that. So I'm very proud that we can bring you an amazing machine at an amazing price. And only at HSN, why? Because we buy in big quantities. So this is really great. I use it at home every day because I love smoothies. My kids love smoothies. They like milkshakes. Whatever we do, we always use my blender. So what we do, put fruits in here, a little mm -hmm. juice in here, whatever you want. In the summer, I make it cold, I always add a little ice to it too. And then you decide what you add. I have some grapes, so if you have a banana which might not look that nice anymore, but when it's pureed, nobody cares. So right. throw it in here. Kiwi, whatever you like. What else we have here? Maybe a little pineapple. Here you can see, yeah. you don't have to core it. So then also you wanna get a little cucumber maybe, a little spinach or kale. If you want lemon, you can throw in a whole lemon, uh, not a whole lemon, it would be too much, but a little bit with the, with the rind on it, just wash it before. Ginger if you like. You can spice it up with a little cayenne pepper. So it's all up to you how you like it. Put a cover on. You have the plunger here, and then we turn it on. Wow. <laughs> all right, that's, that's all you have to do. And in a minute or less, yeah. you will have the most amazing smoothie made fresh. Because if you, cut it, if you buy it in the store, you don't gonna drink the whole thing today. And I know at the farmer's market in Beverly Hills where I go to, one smoothie is $9. Yeah. So yeah. I go with my kids, it's already $27. It's like more than a flex pay here, I think. So. Oh, it, it's crazy. I was gonna do a juice fast. Yeah. So I went to a place and I got like a few juices. It was like two hundred dollars. <laughs> I know. Like, what was I thinking? So this one, what is great when you buy juice out there, you don't get any fibers, and the fibers is very important for your That's digestive right. tract. Mm -hmm. You know, for digestion of the food. So here you have all the fiber in here too, which is really good. So then you have Look a beautiful smell. Look how. That nice and pureed is this. So if you give that to the kids, you put in apple, whatever it is, maybe a little spinach and maybe a little kale, whatever you like, all of a sudden they will get all their nutrients give right it in to here. To the big kid, I need, I need some nutri okay. nutrition for, for the day. For the day, <laughs> all right, excellent. Now here what we have here, Marianne, our, it's time for a drink? Mm-hmm. Okay. This is a good drink. Mm -hmm. Time for a margarita, yeah, this it is the healthy one, good. and now I'm making one even healthier. <laughs> A little tequila, okay. oh. <laughs> orange, a little lime, and the grapefruit. So I add them all in here. So then you also can put a little lime right if we have it. Mm -hmm. You have a little lime? Um, There's the lime. You've got a lot of blenders that won't even that tell you you cannot do ice. You cannot, yeah, I know. No, don't look, put ice in it. I know, because I'm going to show you in a minute of how good this is. All right, we don't have we don't have lime. We don't put lime, Sorry, so we are very. Uh, no, uh, Greg only drinks Budweiser, so that's the problem. <laughs> right, no you're margarita. Going to <laughs> okay. Look at that. That's a little. Now you can add whatever you want. A little ginger to it. You add a little lime rind to it. Or whatever spice you want into here, and it always comes out fresh. So. When you go to a 
supermarket, uh, when you go to a bar, they always put so much sugar in it. That's how you end up with a helicopter. ingredients okay. of the juices in the store. They yeah. put all this extra stuff in it. Now look at it, a frozen margarita. Oh, wow. Mm. <laughs> look at that. It's perfect. Yeah, so that could be with watermelon, that could be with strawberries, mm. whatever. It could be rum instead of that. And then, obviously, you keep, keep the kids away, but you can make it with al alcohol for the children. But the big kids can play. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm, it tastes so good, so fresh. Mm -hmm. And you know, you know no artificial flavors in here. Everything is done just with the best ingredients. So, Yeah, you know what, if you own this, we'd love to hear from you. It is a huge customer pick. We've sold so many of these. And today we're bringing it to you at an anniversary price. This is the price of a traditional blender, but the power that you get is unlike any other way. I also yeah. like the way that, that this operates. Can it, you uh, show them this? It's very simple here. Simple. Now look at that. All you have to do is turn it on and then turn it on the speed you like. So that's it. So now here, if you make a batter for dessert, like cheesecake or anything like that, just throw everything together in here. And then you put that up. And now I'm gonna show you how easy it is. You just turn it on. Okay. I lifted it up. Oh. That's a nice thing. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't see it. I looked at this monitor here, but I didn't see it. I said, oh, somebody. All right, pour it mm -hmm. in here with a graham crust or whatever it is, and here you have a cheesecake. So easy, so fast. Not one lump, not one If you bump, want a little chocolate, spray a little chocolate in here and that's mm -hmm. it. Of course, we always want chocolate. We always want it, yeah. Drinking my green smoothie. Okay. All right, oh, well, this is the one, right? Your sorbet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This, this is one? blue, mm -hmm. is it blueberry sorbet? Mm -hmm. Wild organic, they taste amazing. Yeah. But watch what Wolf does. So, a blueberry sorbet, we have blueberries. Now you can add, if you want, a little milk to it, whatever you like. Are those frozen? Mm -hmm. Frozen ones, yes, okay. because we're making sorbet. Now I have a little chocolate here. Okay. Berries and chocolate go well together. And I have a little red wine because I had some leftover red wine, so we're gonna add a little red wine to it. And then we cover it up. Okay, and get the plunger ready. I'm gonna add a little more wine. Yes, that very could powerful be. Powerful motor. Huh? Very powerful motor. Yeah. And you're gonna get that container with it as well. We'll show you everything that comes with it. So, in, in a few minutes, you have the surf ready. Look how thick it is. I'm gonna show you in a second. That sound is an air pocket around the blade because it's so frozen, but it's like a, a race car. The, the engine, the motor can totally handle that. It's normal. 2.5 horsepower. Mm -hmm. I mean, you hear about electric things that are outside that you use on the lawn. 2.5 horsepower. All right. Now, do I have to choose like mixed chop puree or anything, or just just the no, no, no? Just, you just on turn it on. It's okay. just do it one way or the other, but it always comes out just delicious. Oh my goodness! Look at that. And you have sorbet. In yeah, look at it. Oh gosh, <laughs> <laughs> the color is beautiful. Mm. You know. This is, would be perfect in between the meals, you know, like when they call it an intermezzo or whatever. Mm -hmm. But I have it just like that, it's okay. Mm, beautiful. Mm. 
this. Red wine, chocolate, and blueberries. It's like a dessert, right? Totally. It's so good. Oh my God. <laughs> so you have that, you start, you start eating it, and you're not gonna stop eating it. <laughs> oh, because the blueberries are so sweet, the red wine gives yeah. you this layer, but then you hit the chocolate. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is so good. Yeah. Okay, and so simple. So simple. And so, so you, fast. If you forget to make the surf, for example, mm -hmm. and you have friends over and say, what are we gonna give them? You take out the machine and that's it. An, an incredible way for you to mm -hmm. be able to do sorbet. But we have this machine back here for a reason. Understand, you can even make soup with exactly. this. Exactly, so now I'm gonna show you. We have a little milk in here and some cheddar cheese. Okay. Frozen broccoli. So, I mean, most blenders. If you want to thicken it up, you add a slice of bread to it. To, to bump, up to, one is good, to, one to is bump up to a blender that makes soup yeah. is a whole different category of kitchen appliance. You're getting this at $129.95. You're making soup. You're not heating it, you're not mixing it, you're making hot soup. That's crazy. And Look at that. In you, no time. So now if you have some leftover veggies or anything, like I have a little leftover spinach here, what do I do? I throw it in my soup because I don't throw anything away. The way I grew up was very poor. You know what? Will you do that again? Do you have any more spinach? Huh? You have more spinach or something there? Because or something you else? See, that, that gets sucked into the vortex. Yeah. Absolutely incredible. So, yeah. Okay, like a little kale. Yeah. All right, so wait, 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 wait. Wait for the, yeah. Okay, and now I'm gonna put it in the back over here so that we doesn't get so noisy. Look at that, here we have one. Okay, I put it in the cover for the noise reason. Right, so we're only transferring it for the, so we can talk. Okay, that's it. So how long will it take before? Like soup? this one, if it's not full, probably in five minutes, it's gonna be soup. That's incredible. Yeah. Fresh made soup. Now we're and gonna show you why this blender is so amazing and why this one is amazing too, but it costs three times what ours cost. Now look at that, it has two and a half horsepower, this one has 2.2 or something that's similar to ours. Both are the same, look at this. Metal on metal, so if you would have a plastic drive here and you put ice in it, it will start to smoke and burn out really fast. So the most important thing is, to have good horsepower and have metal on metal here. That's really an important part. And then you say, okay, the carafe, you will say, okay, this one is so much bigger. Well, let's see. Ours is obviously easier to clean because the way it is built. Right. So it doesn't have all these uh, no. grooves yeah, in there. Yeah, it's got four corners. But That's look it. at that. So this one is full with water. Now you're gonna see here. Look at that, yeah. ours is full of water too. Same capacity. Now ours fits underneath any kitchen counter. This is already too much. If you put the top on, you're gonna say, oh my God, this doesn't fit. So you have to keep everything separated. Here you can keep it together. Now this one is the same thing. You see it's metal or metal. I'm not criticizing it. This is a very good machine as a matter of fact, but it costs also three times more than ours. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you have a choice, and all things are equal, and in some cases even better, why, yep. would, you, why would you not pick this up today at $129.95? Replace that blender that's difficult to clean, that just now. doesn't get the job done. That now you're able to make soup, now you're able to, to make your nut butters, all of those things, rather than buy the things in the store with all, read the ingredients, I started reading ingredients, yep. and once you start, you can never stop. Exactly, it's, even, it's shocking sometimes. even making a little dough bowl, like you wanna make fresh pizzas, you okay. know, it is very difficult at home to make the dough. You get your machine out, right. you only need a little bit. You might have a big mixer. He yeah, here you have, yeah, somebody put so much chili in here. Somebody <laughs> knows I like spicy, but not that much. <laughs> and then here you have the yeast with the olive oil. 
So you always put in the liquid first, and then put in the flour. Now you get a recipe for that, and then you turn it on not too high. You're actually making dough. You're actually making for dough. For heaven's no, sakes, in a blender, not a pasta machine, yeah. not a pizza making machine. In a blender, yeah. you're making dough. And look how fast. And it makes it beautifully. It doesn't just sort of make it, it's perfect. Yeah. That's look in here. pretty incredible. Look at that. So now if you want to make it one big pizza, mm -hmm. you have the dough, you let it rest in no time. Instead of kneading it by hand, oh, that makes it so much easier. Try to use like a mixer, and then you have to get yeah. the special hooks and the yeah. dough hooks and this and that. So None of this it. is one machine for a lot of different things. You know, a lot of people have a mixer, a this, a that. If once you have this blender, you can use it for so many things. If you want to cook a soup really fast, and I think if you have broccoli or carrots, even frozen ones, just throw it in there and it will come out perfect. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Yeah. I've never seen a blender actually make dough yeah. <laughs> like that. This is a commercial rated Commercially blender. rated blender, yeah. So if you're a caterer, you're a bartender, whatever you are, whatever you do, or just for your simple home use, this is a perfect machine. I mean, at this price point, $129.95, you get I know. $50 the, I think the best today. price ever, mm -hmm. yeah. better than we ever had. It'll, Now, how do I clean it? Do it? Does it all come apart at the bottom? Or? No, not at all. It's completely sealed at the bottom. To clean it, you add some water and a drop of your favorite dish soap, and you yeah. turn it on. You and that's turn it, it on, and, and it, it will out. sweep oh. it up, and that's it. Mm -hmm. So it's like self-cleaning. Self-cleaning, yeah. Don't we like that, look at, right? Look at that dough. Yeah. I can't even... That, that's it. So now you put a paper blender. on it, and then you let it proof, and then you can form your pizza really easy. But it has to rest a little bit. Mm -hmm. Any dough which you work with has to rest a little bit. So put a, a plastic wrap on it or anything like that. You can, you can see all the things I've done. There, there are blenders out there that just make drinks. There are blenders out there that don't do ice. There yeah. are blenders that only do smoothies. This does it all and it does soup. It will do everything for you. Control what you're putting into your bodies. This is the way to do yeah. it. And if you want to be a little out of control. A little out of control <laughs> and like a Made milkshake, it. a coffee shake, yeah. coffee milk, a latte shake, we call it. Or, or sometimes you call it Viennese coffee. And Viennese we're like, oh, I like that coffee. coffee. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has less calories only, when you do that, okay? Only if we put whipped cream on it. <laughs> No vibration, there's no yeah. movement. So now, Viennese iced coffee, in the old time, they put it in a mixing bowl, get the thing, and then mix it together. We make it by easy hand? for, by hand, wow. yeah. Yeah, look at that. Oh, And then, wow. our wig came on top. And again, mm. shop the entire Wolfgang Puck assortment, lots of sales, lots in of Vienna, sales. That makes it, that what you just added makes $15 it. $15 for one. That's coffee grounds that he added to the <laughs> yeah. top, Alice. God. How pretty is that? But the quality of And that of could be getting. with raspberries, could be with any kind of fruits you like too. Your broccoli soup is ready. Oh, okay, yeah, already? Mm. Soup, in a matter of minutes, fresh soup that doesn't have preservatives, that doesn't have all that other sodium and everything else that they add to almost everything they, they package now. Yeah. Control it yourself. If you have the right tool, you'll, you'll want to do it. It'll taste better. It'll taste fresh. Fresh is always better. And you'll like not having all the, the sodium and the extra preservatives uh, and the uh, things uh, you can't pronounce. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, look at that. So this was, remember, I put frozen broccoli. A slice of bread, a little milk, a little vegetable stock or water, whatever you want. I didn't taste it for salt and pepper yet, I think. Okay. Oh, a very limited Now look, look in here. Mills. You're close? I'm gonna open it up. Look at that. Yeah. See the steam coming out? Oh, wow. And look at the consistency. Oh, it's enough, yeah. Perfect. Five minutes. All right. Five forward. minutes. I have to. I have to taste this. And you can look at the consistency. Look at the color. Oh. 
Now, if you like cheddar a lot, put a little cheddar cheese on top. This is just like in a cookbook. Then a crouton, a little mm. slice of bread, baked bread on top, and you're done. How beautiful is it? So you want to have dinner for two, two bowls of soup, a little mm -hmm. bread or a cheese sandwich with it, and you're done. Oh my God, the smell just hit and, me. And, and, All right, the smell just hit me. That is yeah. amazing. But look, again, it's the consistency. Yeah. If you don't have the kind of power that you get with this, you'll never get that. You'll never get that consistency. You'll get something that's kind of, you know, broken down, but you never get this kind of because you don't have the power look at that here carrots carrots mm. onion ginger and a little honey you need to taste and that i love it I what love in the good. world makes that so good <laughs> is there cream in there mm -hmm. a little cream in there mm -hmm. but you can make it totally without cream also you know oh, it's up to so you we good. add a little bit but instead of me putting flour in it we put a slice of bread in there Broccoli. Yeah. I despise broccoli. Well, see. Now look at how fast I had whole carrots here. It doesn't taste at all like broccoli. Right. No, thank God. Are you making your ginger carrot soup? I love that. You need a top one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Now the same. I put it in here. And in five minutes, we have carrot ginger soup. So isn't that amazing to think? The blender makes me a perfect oh, sorbet, God. makes me a Viennese iced coffee, makes pizza dough, makes smoothies, dough. makes margaritas, makes sorbets. Marianne gonna make us a mango sorbet, one of my favorite. You need a plunger. Huh? The plunger? Mm -hmm. What do you need? A uh, plunger. I, I get one. you one. Thank I got you. One. This is this is an amazing machine. Amazing. That I mean, soup? Yeah, I know. Look at the color. I'm going to go back and watch the tape of this and <laughs> yeah. figure out what you put in there. No the secret. No I'm secret. The Everything is life, I you know? I can't even. Uh, it, and it's so, it's just so creamy. Yeah. Look at the, I, I've just never, I've never seen soup yeah. like this that. This is as good as a three-star restaurant anywhere. Wow. You know, it doesn't have a better consistency when you get a soup at Spargo. All right. I'm, I'm trying. You're going to have to move your hand. I'm going to drip okay. on you. <laughs> But not on metal, not as strong as yeah. that by any means. But it costed a hundred dollars. That was like when my kids were really little, Alexander yeah. and Oliver, so 11 years ago, 12 years ago. And what happened is they had a touchstone here with 15 different keys on it. One was soup, one was this, one was this, one was that. And I said, why, why? make it so complicated? Mm -hmm. I said, I need glasses, I have to study it. This makes it so easy. I know, do I want to pulse? Do I want to liquefy? Do I want to do this? All you do is you turn it on and so, it creates these amazing, yeah. amazing creations. I'm telling you, you will adore this soup. Where, where is the recipe for this soup? <laughs> <laughs> we have it, we have it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay. Pizza dough, ice drinks. Uh, we made a cheesecake. We made cocktails, frozen cocktails. Oh, we didn't even do um, rice flour. Is that for rice flour? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. You can make your own flours. You can make your own nut we butter. We clean one now. We started out with smoothies. We oh. have none left, but and, and you know what? Oh, here we have it. Okay. Yeah. Don't. The rice flour. Marianne just told me it cost eight dollars for that quantity per pound. A two pound bag. Yeah. Now this one, <laughs> it costs a dollar. And you can make it as fine or as coarse as you want. Amazing. Listen, you know. You can see again the power of my 
interesting ideas at a special price. That's right, because 20 years here and 20 more coming up, but we're going to share some more with you at 5 o'clock. Suzanne is okay. up next. <laughs>